welcome back to my channel and today I will be talking about my favorite beauty products from the month of January. If you want to see what they are, please keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start off with eyeshadow and the only eyeshadow palettes that I've been using throughout the month of January are the Mini Masquerade Palette by Juvia's Place and the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, so the first palette I've been obsessing over is the Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade Palette and you can tell... It's a pretty big palette to call it mini, but honestly, this palette is so affordable. I think it's about $26. I got it on Black Friday, so it was a little bit cheaper. And the pigment, I already swatched them on my hands. Look at this. Oh my god. Like, honestly, I fell in love with this because of the packaging. It's just so cute, and it's just... And I actually have it on my eyes today. I have the purple shades. Right here, these two on my eyelids. Okay, so the second palette I've been obsessing over is the ABH Modern Renaissance palette, and mine's all dirty. Dirty. But I've been obsessed with this palette. I feel like everybody has it, so I don't really have to break it down for you. Here's a swatch of it, by the way. Um, it has neutral and berry tones, which are amazing for the fall, and that's why I always reach for it, honestly. I always tell myself, oh no, grab something else. Like, do your eyeshadow with a different eyeshadow palette this time that I can't like you can just create so much so many like looks with this palette I can't even describe it it's just so beautiful if you don't have your hands on it now I definitely recommend getting this palette there was only one highlighting palette that I've been obsessing over for the month of January and it was the sleek makeup solstice palette it comes with three highlighters one two three and then a cream I don't really reach to the cream as much but this palette without the cream, without anything, I'm wearing it right now, is blinding. And I believe it is more pigmented than the Becca highlighter, than the Anastasia So Hollywood highlighter. Like, I got that high highlighter from Black Friday, and I put it on when I got it, and I was just like, it was like a more of like a subtle highlight. You have to use that one with the cream, I believe. I prefer you doing that. But this one, you don't. I'm wearing it without the cream just on top of my foundation and I am like living for it like I reach for it all the time and I blind people with it I'm blind. the only concealer I've been reaching for throughout the month of January is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer I have mine in Fair Neutral I believe everybody has this concealer ready because it's so good like it blends so effortlessly and I thought I wouldn't like it because my skin's oily and I used the Tarte Amazonian Clay Concealer I think it was called and it just made me look like I was about to like fry an egg on my face. And I didn't like it. I stopped reaching for it. So I want to try to give this one a go. And actually it worked really well on me. I'm wearing it today. I'm like obsessed with this concealer. I use it to carve out my eyebrows. Set my eyeshadow in place. Everything. Like this is my go-to concealer. The only lip product I've been grabbing throughout the month of January is the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit in Love Bite. I'm wearing it right now on my lips. And as you can tell, like it starts to crumble as I talk or you eat or anything. But that's like every lip kit. I mean, I haven't found a lip kit that doesn't do that. Because the saliva is obviously going to make it push up and take it off your lips. I mean... It's worth it though. If you love the dark tones, especially for fall, I recommend getting this. Okay, so the lashes I've been using throughout the month of January are the Queen Bee Lashes by Coco Lashes. I get these on LadyMoss.com and I found these out from Lusterlux or Katie. Um, I follow her everywhere, Instagram, all social medias, and she raves about these lashes. So I decided to order seven of these lashes, and honestly, they're just so wispy and cute and buttery, and they're also, I believe, like seven bucks. Or, yeah, seven bucks, and it's definitely worth it. Like, buy a pack of them, and you can keep reusing them. The way I reuse them is you put your lashes in water, and you let them sit there for like an hour or so, and the glue will start to come off. Or you can take a Q-tip, rub the water, on the lash line and your glue will come off from the night or the day before you wore the lashes and then you keep reusing them, reusing them, reusing them and they're an awesome price and they're definitely cute. So the eyebrow products I've been using throughout the month of January are the Cabrow by Benefit and Give Me Brow and the Highbrow. I always want the Highbrow, especially like the one 
they had before this one, like the original one, but I kept like missing it. Every time I went to Sephora, also it was always sold out. And I was like, really? So now I got it and I actually love it. Like it gives you that nice pink champagne-y look under your eyebrow and then you can put a highlighter or a matte color on top and they'll still have that little pink undertone underneath. And then I used the Gimme Brow in five and the Cabral in six. I love the Cabral. I never thought I would find something to replace my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow, but this is definitely it. It comes with a little brush inside like this on top. And it looks like this in the bottom. It's pretty small, but honestly, there's a lot of product in there. And I first was using it and I looked at it and it was kind of like chalky-ish. But then I started using it more, I started working with it and it was, I love it so much. I love Benefit, period. And this I use after I'm done filling my eyebrows to fill in the bald spots I still have. So I don't go back with powder, I go back with this little eyebrow brush right here. And yeah, these products are definitely worth it for the price of everything. Okay guys, that's all I have for my favorite beauty products for the month of January. If you want to see more of my face beads, follow me on Instagram. I'll link it down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!